across all the time. I've got some beets up in through here. We've got lots of flowers. This is a, a chocolate mint. Really, really different. Very, very interesting. You know, and even in small pots, you, know, you can grow spinach. You can eat the spinach. As soon as it starts coming up, you just take a leaf off of every other plant. I put in lettuce in different spots and beets and you know, even strawberries in some of the pots do really well. If you've got a deep pot, you know, fill it full of carrot seeds. It's amazing how many carrots you can get out of just a small pot like this. Last year I was pulling, you know, 10, 12 inch carrots out of some of these deep pots. I built this one specifically for carrots. Actually, some of them are going to seed right now. This is an interesting little box. They call that an earth box. And I threw in a bunch of different types of plants in there just to see what happens. And um, it's growing kind of out of control. It's doing quite well, actually. But you know, it doesn't really matter if you overplant some of these pots because you can thin them as you go. Lettuce, you always eat lettuce. I overplanted it, for sure I overplanted it, but at any given point in time I can go ahead and I can pick out some of the leaves and it grows back almost as fast as you pick it. And on a daily basis, you can go through your garden, even when it's really small, and pick enough of the baby lettuce to make a salad for two, and, and it's almost going to replace itself every single day. Now I'm trying some other stuff down low here. I'm actually trying some snow peas at the wrong time of year. I don't expect them to take, but I thought it would be kind of fun. Now they get much, much larger when you plant them in the garden than the space that I have here, but I want to see what's happening. And we've got radishes. Did you know that radish leaves, the leaves on radish,